gentlemen, we are going to do a little something called a tag team monologue, which means uh, we're all going to be telling you a story as the same character, tagging each other in and out quickly, slowly, faster again. Um, we're going to be inspired by our buddy Terry, who is a level five from Verndale, Minnesota. Uh, coffee makes him think of the daily routine, enjoys Sudoku puzzles and gardening, and likes cup coffee with nothing in it. But we're going to be inspired by the suggestion of uh, uh, Sudoku puzzles and gardening to inspire this monologue. The perfect combination of numbers is the perfect combination in gardening. They have a synergy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where do I go from there? I think it's 10 right after that, but I'm not sure. When I dig a hole in the ground, I see my life. I hold the soil in my hands, and I feel like I am one with the earth. Putting numbers together is just like putting uh, flowers together. Lily, chrysanthemum, uh, rose, black rose. Uh, get, getting them all together in one garden. Imagining my surprise when there was one flower I couldn't figure out. Having dabbled a violet next to a rose garden, a strange concoction came out of the ground that was a shiny yellow. It had a sheen to it, <laughs> bright when it touched the sun. I've never seen anything like it. it. Nor have I tasted anything like it because I couldn't resist putting it to my lips. The sheen had a texture to it, a, a taste. It was like, if I could put a number to it, a seven. Eleven is what it tasted like. <laughs> Have you ever smelled a 7-Eleven? That's what it tasted like in my mouth. It was glorious. It was like beef jerky and eggs. All wrapped into one magical omelet. <laughs> I wanted to show the world this creation, but then the flower spoke to me. She spoke to me and she said, hello, my name is Gloria, and I'm the love of your life. I've been waiting for you, Terry. I've been waiting for you. My whole life. Imagine my surprise to hear the flower finally speak to me after speaking to it so many times in my dreams. <laughs> I thought, is this some sort of little shop of horrors thing? Is this plant going to grow up huge and eat humans? <laughs> Gosh, I hope so. <laughs> There's a lot of humans around that are really annoying to me. This <laughs> and I should see them eaten as soon as possible. But another thing. I wondered if I ate Gloria, would it taste just like a 7-Eleven taquito? Ooh. With its fresh <laughs> wrapped meatness. I couldn't resist and I ate. And I ate her and then threw her back up again. And then I introduced her to my family because I wondered what it would be. Like to introduce my father to a thrown up flower. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>